everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we are diving into a frequently asked question. What's the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist? If you've ever been curious about how these roles differ, you are at the right place. From the healthcare industry to ride hailing services, from online shopping platforms to streaming giants, big data has completely changed the way businesses operate and how users engage with applications. At the core of this revolution are two essential disciplines, data analytics and data science. Now, these terms can sound quite familiar or even a bit confusing at first. So to make things easier, let's break it down using a fun and relatable analogy. Imagine a business as a human body. In this scenario, a data scientist would act as a general practitioner, GP, while a data analyst would be more like a specialist doctor or consultant. Both are indispensable and when it comes to ensuring that the body or in our case the business stays healthy and performs optimally, the data scientist like a GP takes a comprehensive big picture view. They analyze how all the different systems work together and study how external influences might impact the body as a whole. This allows them to uncover broad strategic insights that may not be immediately obvious identifying potential issues or opportunities before they become critical. On the flip side, the data analyst plays the role of a specialist, zeroing in on one specific area, say the heart or brain. They examine detailed data in their focus area looking to answer targeted questions and solve particular problems. For instance, if there's a concern about the heart palpitations, the data analyst acting as a heart specialist steps in to dig deeper and provide insights. It's important to understand that while the specialist, the data analyst, focuses on a defined domain, the GP data scientist is always keeping an eye on the overall system. They complement each other working hand in hand to maintain the health and performance of the business through data. To sum it up, data analysts and data scientists each play vital roles while the data scientist takes a wide-angle approach to understand the entire business ecosystem. The data analyst drills down into specific aspects, offering detailed and actionable insights. In this video, we will explore both roles in a greater depth, their day-to-day -day responsibilities, the skills they bring to the table, and how they contribute in today's fast-paced, moving, data-driven world. Before we dive into deeper, let's first test your basics. Which of the following best describes the difference between a data analyst and a data scientist? Your options are data analysts focus on current trends while data scientists predict future outcomes. Option number B, data analysts only work with AI while data scientists don't. Option B C, data scientists handle Excel sheets while data analysts build machine learning models. Or option D, there is no real difference between the two roles. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. But before we comment, here's a quick information for you. Earn your data analytics and Genii certificate with Purdue University Online and IBM. This professional certificate in data analytics and generative AI program is ideal for professionals from all the backgrounds. It covers Excel, SQL, Python, Tableau, Power BI and generative AI techniques via hands-on project, live sessions with industry experts and case studies to ensure real-world relevance. The key features included are professional certificate in data analytics and generative AI and Purdue University Online Alumni Association membership. You'll get exclusive hackathons and Ask Me Anything sessions by IBM Live Sessions on the latest AI trends and Gen AI prompt engineering, explainable AI and many more. You'll also get to do capstone from three domains and 14 plus data analytics project with industry data sets from Google Play Store, Lyft, World Bank, etc. Also, Simply Learn's job assist help you get noticed by top hiring companies. You get to build your resume and highlight your profile to recruiters with the spotlight on IIM jobs. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now and you can find the course link below. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let me explain you first with the help of a story. Now imagine a thriving social media app with millions of users sharing photos, videos and messages every day. At this company, we have two data heroes here. First, we've got Alex, the analyst, and we've got Chris as the data scientist. They both work with the data, but their roles are quite different. Alex is like the app's detective. Their job is to figure out how people are using the app right now. 
Alex looks at things like which feature are most popular, when do most people log in, how long do users spend on the app. Now, Alex digs through user activity logs, engagement metrics, and customer feedbacks to answer specific questions. This helped the team make the app better today. That's what data analysts do. They solve current puzzles using existing information. So let's talk about Chris. They are more like the app's fortune teller and inventor rolled into one. Chris takes all the data Alex collects, plus a whole lot more, and tries to predict the future. They ask big questions like, what new features will user want next year? How can we use AI to make app more fun? Predict trending topics before they explode. Now, Chris uses complex math, machine learning, and computer programming to spot trends, create new ideas. That's what data scientists do. They use data to predict the future and innovate. Both Alex and Chris are crucial for the app's success. Alex helps the app run smoothly and keeps users happy day to day. Chris helps the company plan for future and stay ahead in. Chris helped the company plan for the future and stay ahead in the competitive tech world. Now let's look at the key definitions and how they differ from each other. Comparing data science versus data analytics. Now data science and data analytics, while related, serve distinct purposes. Data science is a broad multidisciplinary field encompassing areas like machine learning, artificial intelligence and computer science. It involves researching vast amounts of unstructured data to ask and answer strategic long-term questions. Data scientists often build complex models and algorithms focusing on innovation and strategic decision-making, and they usually hold senior roles. Now, in contrast, data analytics is a specialized discipline within data science that focuses on analyzing existing structured data to answer specific immediate questions. Data analysts interpret data, identify trends, and provide actionable insights using SQL and Excel. They often work in specific departments like marketing or sales, and while their skill set is narrower than that of data scientists, they have a deep understanding of their particular business area. Essentially, data scientists create the big picture framework while data analysts zoom in on specific element within that framework to optimize current operations. So let's look at the skills for data analysts. The skills needed should be, first up, you should be proficient in business intelligence tools. You should have strong analysis skills, intermediate programming skills in SQL and Python, expertise in data visualization tools like Tableau and Power BI. Now, these are the skills needed for becoming a data analyst. Second are the skills of data scientist. So for data scientists, the skills needed are advanced knowledge of machine learning and artificial intelligence. You should also have experience with big data platforms like Hadoop and Apache Spark, strong programming skills in Python and R, proficiency in predictive modeling and data mining techniques. Now, let's compare the workflows of data analyst and data scientist. The workflow of a data analyst typically begins with data collection, where they gather data from various sources to ensure they have all the necessary information. Next comes data cleaning, a crucial step where they remove any errors and redundancies from the data set to ensure accuracy. Following this, they perform data analysis using statistical methods to interpret the data and uncover patterns and trends. To present their findings effectively, data analysts then engage in data visualization, creating charts and graphs that make complex data more understandable. Finally, they provide actionable insights offering recommendations that can be implemented immediately to improve business operations. Now, in contrast, the workflow of a data scientist starts with identifying the problem, where they define a strategic question or opportunity that needs to be addressed. They then proceed with data mining, extracting relevant data from large data sets to gather the information needed for their analysis. Similar to data analysts, data scientists also perform data cleaning to prepare the data for analysis. However, they take it a step further with data exploration, conducting exploratory analysis to understand the data in depth. 
The next step is feature engineering, where they create new features from raw data to enhance their models. They then build predictive models to forecast future outcomes based on the data. Now, once the models are ready, they deploy the model into production to start generating insights in real time. And the final step of the workflow is to monitor and iterate, continuously improving the model based on the new data to ensure it remains accurate and effective. Now that we have seen the workflow comparison, let's move on and explore the tools and techniques used by data analysts and data scientists. The data analysts like Alex utilize a variety of tools to handle and analyze data effectively. They often use Excel for data organization and basic analysis due to its accessibility and functionality. Now, for querying purposes, they use SQL, which is the go-to language, enabling them to extract and manipulate data effectively. To visualize data and create insightful dashboards, Tableau is commonly employed, offering robust data visualization capabilities. Additionally, we've got Python, which is used for more advanced data manipulation and analysis, making it a versatile tool in the data analysis toolkit. Now, on the other hand, data scientists like Chris rely on slightly different set of tools to handle their more complex tasks. Python is a staple for data manipulation, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, thanks to its extensive libraries and frameworks. R is also a key tool, particularly for statistical analysis and visualization, providing powerful statistical techniques for processing large data sets. Hadoop is indispensable, enabling scalable and distributed computing. Apache Spark is used for large-scale data processing, offering speed and ease of use for big data analytics. And lastly, we've also got TensorFlow, which helps in building and deploying machine learning models, making it essential for AI-related tasks. Finally, let's discuss the career paths, opportunities, and salaries for data analysts and data scientists both in United States and India. Now, a career as a data analyst often begins with a focus on specific business areas such as marketing or finance. Over time, they can transition into senior analyst roles or specialize further in business intelligence. There are also opportunities to move into management positions, overseeing data analysis teams and driving strategic decisions based on data insights. Now, in the United States, the average salary for data analyst is around $65,000 per year with senior roles potentially earning upwards of $90,000 annually. In India, the average salary for data analyst is approximately 6 lakh rupees per annum, with senior roles earning around 10 lakh rupees per annum annually. Now, in contrast, a career as a data scientist typically requires advanced degrees and specialized training in data science. Now, as they gain experience, they can progress to senior data scientist roles or lead data science teams taking on more responsibility and tackling complex challenges. Data scientists also have opportunities to work in cutting-edge fields like AI, machine learning, and big data where they can innovate and contribute to significant technological advancement. In the United States, the average salary for data scientists is approximately $120,000 per year with senior positions often earning well over $150,000 annually. In India, the average salary for a data scientist is around 10 lakh rupees per year, with senior roles potentially earning up to 20 lakh rupees per annum or more annually. So in summary, both data science and data analytics are crucial in today's data-driven world. Data scientist focuses on the bigger picture and long-term strategy, while data analysts hone on a specific question and provide actionable insights. Choosing between the two depends on your interest, career goals, and desired salary. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such insightful videos by Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To note up and get certified, you can check the description box below.